from that appetite that wants to kill you and stand for Jesus. I was telling them in Anambra, you see this case now? I want to be God's man. I desperately want to be his man. I want to fight his wars. I want to win his battles. The scars that I carry when I die, I want them to be scars of pride that I was wounded fighting for the Lord. That's why no man can offend me. Hit me, stab me in the back, call me names. Those wounds, I will bear them with pride. In my grave, while I lie in death's quiet sleep, I will be proud that even though Satan fought, I fought harder. Even if I died in battle, on the occasion of my death, at least a few men were able to stand for the Lord. It is for this end that I live. And this is why compromise is not attractive to me. It's not attractive. I know the consequence. I was teaching in Nifes, one of the fellowships in my campus. And then in the heat of my teaching, I just said it. I said, do you know what will happen? If one student hears that Pastor Kess is sleeping with a female student, a lady from the back shouted. By impulse, it's not something she planned. She said, I will backslide. She shouted from the back. That day, she, me myself, I was the one preaching. I was shocked. That day, I understood the import of one man's life. Let it not be that you are in Uyo and in your compound, you are the reason why some people have said they will not serve Jesus. They watched you for many years. You were the sister that everybody said. They were using you to teach their daughters. This is how to serve God. Then one day, they spied you from the room window. You were dragging a boy into your bedroom in the night. And they found out that even though you claimed to be holy, there was something else that you had bowed to. The very thing in your territory that God put you here to fight is the very thing that has laid government over your soul. No wonder, bro. Jesus said, the prince of this world comment. <laughs> and he has nothing. This is the reason I can take him on. This is the reason I can look Satan in the eye and say, lose him and let him go. Because there's nothing I have that belongs to Satan. That belongs to Satan. You know some brothers' tongues? In the man of Zania. They are like they are like ballistic missiles. The type that flies from Israel into Hamas. Huh? Meanwhile, he's a wanderer. He's in the company of the dead. He's no longer the man that God can entrust the territory into Israel. There's a prize for neglect. That's why I came to these two scriptures. There's a prize. You have responsibility to tend your field. You have responsibility to watch over your vineyard. You have a responsibility to keep your groves. Don't allow the field to begin to grow tons. Don't allow your walls to break down. Because you as the land must first of all be restored before you can restore the land. You must be restored. And I'm sensing that this afternoon session, this today's session, is for the restoration of wasting men. Bro, my generation worships sex. Sex. There's a matter I'm going to face now when I get home. I've been broken since morning. I started getting the message as we're in the car coming from Anambra. A young man reached me that he's broken and damaged. Why? He's married though. But sex wants to finish it. He's not sleeping with other women. But pornography, masturbation, wants to finish him. As if that was the only story I'd have okay. His wife's niece, eight years old. How old? Eight years old. He has slept with her twice. His wife's niece. Sex is a god. And you know my generation is so ignorant, so flippant, so careless. Men are elevating that god in the public space every day. And we are willingly bowing to it. They bring the entertainment and say it is any show. They say it's entertainment. And people are visibly naked. A married man goes into the show and is sleeping with another. We are, we are seeing adultery, adultery on TV. Christians are coming to say it's entertainment. The person who won the Big Brother show was bold enough to say she wants to thank God. Which God? 
Now, that doesn't hurt me. You go into under the comments. You are seeing people saying, God has blessed you. My dear, I thank God for your life. Thank God you did not give up. When you were going through the house, I just saw how God was helping you. <sighs> then we are wondering that 40 year old men oh, help me, help me God. are finding a, an 8 year old girl without breast, without bum bum, attractive. 40 year old man is a God, is a strange spirit. And you know why I'm saying this thing to you is this it's not happening in shrines. Trace the people who are culprits, they are coming from our ranks. When are we ever going to take territory? I just left my brother's city in Calabar, and while we're, while we're driving into the city, the driver was telling us about the sad things that are happening in Calabar. They are preparing for the uh, Calabar, what do they call it now? Carnival. That now they even do what is called a children's carnival. Children. The guy was telling us that women come from all the cities of the world and they walk on the streets of Calabar naked. A god of sex has placed a flag on the territory of mortals. I expect the people in church to be angry and come out guns blazing and say, we don't serve Satan. See who our God is. But check their phone. There is never a, an accidental spiritual man. What you don't give yourself to, it will never give itself to you. You want to know God? Give yourself to scriptures. The Bible is the primary way God introduces himself to man. He shows you the way he thinks. He shows you the way he speaks. He shows you how he deals with men that decide to deal with him. So when you are reading Elijah's story, it's not a story to, to show you power. It's a story to show you how he deals with a man. And James will show you that Elias was a man of like passion. But he decided to do business with God. He prayed earnestly. It's a book of dealings. But we are too lazy. Eh? They have comedy skits. Hmm? Where the man says he's trying to make you laugh. But the object of the comedy is a man, a woman's breast and buttocks. Eh? So the breast is big, then camera focuses on it. Then he says, you are doing well. Then people are laughing. How, how does a woman's body part translate to comedy? <laughs> you know you don't want me to talk. Oh. Eh? You, don't, you don't want me to say anything. How is that supposed to make a grown man like myself? You don't know how irritated I get on social media. A grown man like myself that is looking for how God will use his life to do something serious. You now do comedy that I'm supposed to be laughing. I'm supposed to get excited that you are magnifying a woman's body parts. Ah. Check our phones now. Check, check. You have friends that you don't go to look for it, but your friends know you like it. So once they find one on Instagram, they post to you. Then you put smiling emoji on that. <laughs> you are finished, brother. You are finished. There's nothing left of your life again. You don't know. You know when somebody has drank pure water and squeezed it like this? That's what the God of sex is doing in this generation. That's why we have people who are leading prayer, speaking to gay, 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 gay. They can't stop masturbating. They have bowed to another God. God has been afflicting my heart that I need to do a series on breaking addictions. I'm preparing I want to be able to address it spiritually and I want to say hard truths. If my generation does not get serious, we'll be alive like this. Eh? And we we'll go back to the state that Israel was. We'll be in Goshen or we'll be in Egypt. Our lives will be preserved. We'll be eating food. Going about our work. Driving our cars. But the land in which we live will have a pharaoh. And you know the problem about that thing? It's just a matter of time. Pharaoh's taskmasters will begin to enact government. It's why Paul gives you counsel. And you should pray for those in authority so that you might live a peaceable life. <laughs> because you don't know how powerful government is. You don't know how powerful government is. Talk less. We are not even talking physical government. We are talking spiritual rulership. You are in a city. You are in a territory. And the spiritual government over that territory is Satan. 
you will know what it means to labor in a hard ground and to eat bread by the sweat of your brow. When a man's walls are broken down in the spirit, you become an expressway for demonic activity. All kinds of strange appetites flying in the territory will find your spirit as a, a favorable landing ground. You don't know what happens. You can wake up in the morning and just be walking on the streets of Uyo and then all of a sudden, one kind of strange lust which will overwhelm your vessel. Immediately, if you know you have not broken any walls, you know that that thing is a stranger and you should deal with it immediately. But if your walls are broken down, even when you attempt, you will be like something. I will arise at other times. And you now find out that there is no defense. The walls are broken down. And you don't get there by accident. You arrive there by a life of perpetual neglect. How do walls get broke, broken down? When you begin to live a life of neglect, you will start to drift. Oh, so many things are happening in my spirit. Help me, Holy Ghost. When you live a life of neglect, you will begin to drift. Let me show you a scripture. Hebrews chapter 2. Give me verse 1. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, we must give the more what? Endless heed. Are you still with me? We must give the more what? Endless heed to the things we have heard. Lest we what? If you don't give endless heed, you will begin to neglect. You know, it's very easy in our circles. To say we are the prayer. Oh, you did you joke with us. We did pray. Oh. Say, why I like RCN? Eh? We did pray. Prayer fire. Prayer power. And then the only time you pray is when they come for 10 hours. You never pray on your own. Consistently, if you are not taking heed to the things that you have been taught, you will begin to drift. And you know drifting, it happens slowly. You will not know that you have started drifting. Is the day lost will just land on your heart. You will now find out that your drifting has led to cracks. And once the walls have been cracked in multiple places, they will fall. And the man's spirit will no longer have a defense. If the man does not drift because of neglect, he will begin to wander. He's a wanderer. Have you read Proverbs 21 verse 16? It says, he that wanders out of the way of understanding, he will find himself where? Oh, you don't know that scripture. In the company of the dead. God bless you, sir. Proverbs 21 verse 16. A man who wanders from the way of understanding will what? Rest in the assembly of the dead. So he'll be walking around. He's still wearing a suit. You can see do big again. Go, 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 go. You know? When you are still in, in public places, arguing like a foolish person, now what is wrong with worldly music? You don't know what you are doing. You are create, creating breaches in the wall. When a Christian sister comes to visit you in the house, and it is you, oh my, Kami and Tali, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. It is you that was supposed to be an ark of preservation. She came into Noah's ark. To be saved and then she was she was she was she was abused the pain i feel in my heart when sisters sit in front of me and they are telling me that is a brother i'm so ashamed a married woman was telling me that she can't she doesn't know how to go to pastors to complain again a married woman you go and see a pastor he wants to touch your breast No wonder the scripture says that my name is profaned among the Gentiles. Not because of the Gentiles, but because of you. Bro, you don't know what you are doing. Young lady, every time you spread your leg to sleep with a boy that is not your husband, you don't know what you are doing. You are making the territory harder to take. Harder. There's a song that, that I, I like to sing. Uh, oh, Father. Oh, what love you have loved. On me a mortal to be called yours Sharing your image divine Wait, listen, listen to the wordings of the song, those of you that don't know it It says, Oh Father, Oh what love you have lavished On me a mortal To be called yours To share in your image divine The second verse says, Oh what an honor to be your man and your scepter. To dance to the rhythms of your heart. You see, it's a privilege to be God's man. A privilege. And me, I want to wear that title with honor. With honor. When I wake up every 
every day i ask him am i still your man can you still do with me what you did with men like idahosa can you do with me what you did with men like toza can you do with me what you do with men like my father in the lord apostle Arabi outside look at what happened in uganda yesterday you think me i'm competing with another man of god in nigeria i know that the true measure of men will become evident when we die <laughs> And it is when we die when we know men are truly lived. May I want to live for him. So that when I stand before him, he will say, Thou good and faithful servant. It's an honor. It's a privilege. So bro, you don't know what you are doing when you refuse to rise above masturbation. You don't know what you are doing. Just go home and read Leviticus. I don't, I don't feel the need to go back to my, my scripture now to open it. I just feel that the Holy Spirit has pushed us into somewhere and I want us to pray. Go and read it. He says it is because of these things the land has become what? Defiled. Because of all these sexual immoralities, because of all this idolatry, the land has become defiled. And you know what the land did? Once the land becomes defiled, God said he, it spits them out. It rejects the men. And he warned Israel. He said if you do the same thing, the land will become defiled. And the same way the Canaanites were driven out, so the land will spew you out. That's why sometimes some Christians will be in a certain territory doing everything right. They can't prosper. Because some other people are making the land reject everyone who stands for righteousness. Bow your heads. Thank you for watching this message all the way to the end. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to speed on power-packed messages from the Spirit of God. Liking and subscribing to this channel will also help this message spread to more people and which will increase the chances of breaking strongholds in the life of a lot of people all around the world. So you see why it is very important to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification. God bless you. Watch the videos displayed on your screen right now because they will greatly impact your life positively. God bless you.